imagine you have a smartphone a smartphone like this it's a google pixel 3 and in fact you will have It's a very special day because it's my second day. Oh, don't, don't move the camera. Uh, it's my second day in New York City. I have a friend of mine who we will come in uh, GFK in four hours, three hours, I think. We will go after maybe some party, maybe some bar to visit New York. I think it's very good. Today, I have a special guest is Michael from. France, oh, yes. Ah, yes, he speaks French, hein? on parle français, but today we have to speak English in front of the camera, so uh, how was your trip, okay? Very good, very good, yeah, yeah, and very nice good. to meet you everybody, yeah. Yeah. very I don't, good trip. I don't know if you know uh, the ch'ti in French, <laughs> the people who live in the north of the France, uh, Michael is a ch'ti, so uh, how do you say in ch'ti, hello? Uh, hello. Hello. Bonjour. <laughs> very particular accent, I would say. It's a very particular accent, that's nice. But before talking of tech, I want to make a short review of my room. I'm in the hotel, it's uh, near the Madison Square Garden, approximately 10 minutes to uh, Times Square. It's a very nice place. Have you seen? I have the Empire State Building here, but today um, the weather is not very, very, very good. So I don't see the top of the Empire State Building, but look at this. I don't know what it is. Look at this. Uh, let me show you my room. It's not a perfect hotel, but it's quite good. Just have a look. Here you have my small bed. Water, it's very important to drink water. Okay, nice. Window, TV, me, my computer, phone, headphone, hub, everything <laughs> here and here. Bathroom, without bath, but it's still okay. Very nice place. So, Right now I'm a little hungry, I need to eat something, so let's go to visit New York. This is my hotel, and here you have the Madison Square Garden. It's raining today, it's not very good, but last year it was very very cold, but today it's better. of the hotel not far from Times Square so today I want to talk to you to the new affordable smartphone of uh, Samsung is the Samsung Galaxy F or Samsung Galaxy X we don't really know the name F for affordable flex we don't know we know this will be a very different kind of products a new way to use your phone because it will be a affordable smartphone imagine you have a smartphone a smartphone like this it's a Google Pixel 3 and in fact, you will have a phone like this. Hi. Hi. I'm fine. Sorry, I don't have coins. This will be your phone. You will have here a screen. It will be a 4.6 inch. It's called, sorry. 4.6 inch screen here. Uh, use it as a normal smartphone. And when you open it, you will have 7.3 inch. It will be a very big display. So it will be a very, very, very new way to use your phone. When the phone will be closed, you will have a normal design smartphone. But it will be a little more thick. Very compact phone and it will be a tablet when it's open. Samsung quickly showed us this product at this developer convention. The results seems to be very impressive. The fact to have two different displays will increase the price of the smartphone. To use the smartphone, you will need a powerful chipset. In North America, you will have a Snapdragon 855, and for the rest of the world, you will have an Exynos 9820. 6 GB of RAM or 8 GB of RAM. For the storage, we can have two different models. 128 GB or 256 GB. And it will have a big battery, 6,000 mAh. And of course, a quick charge. 
for the photo, we will have triple camera at the rear. One 12 megapixels with different aperture, f2.4, 2f, 1.5. The same as the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus or Note 9. We will have a 12 megapixel optical zoom and a very wide angle. At the front, we will have an 8 megapixel selfie camera and it's very, very cold today here. <laughs> What about the uh, OS? We will have UI OS. It will be a little bit expensive. More than one thousand and seven hundred dollars. It will be very expensive, but it's normal because you have two different display. It's a very new product. Samsung will be probably present this product in the MWC in Barcelona at the end of February of this year. So please subscribe because I will be in Barcelona and the MWC. I will show you the product as soon as it will be announced by Samsung and it could be available in the March of this year. So the question is why do we need a foldable smartphone? So imagine it's very very interesting because you will have a new way to navigate on the internet, a new way to watch a video. In new way for the multimedia today you only have a small display but a bigger display but you don't have this kind of display and this kind of display will be the future and it will be very very interesting for everything you want to do as you can do today on a tablet imagine you want to watch a video everywhere you have a very big screen it's the same thing for video games for reading a book for reading the newspaper it will be much more better much more interesting everything you will do on your smartphone will be more comfortable but the new foldable device of samsung is just the beginning other competitors will launch their own device xiaomi oppo vivo lg Huawei, we may have a lot of new foldable smartphones this year. And I think it will be the new form factor reference in 2020. So just wait, have a look, and I think it will be very interesting. Samsung could buy only 1 million units to test the market, and if it's okay, they will buy more, more, and more, and more products. So, I think it will be the future, I think it will be very interesting, so let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Do you think that the foldable uh, smartphones will be the future of the smartphone? Do you think it will be very interesting? And you, are you ready to buy a foldable smartphone or you prefer a normal smartphone, a classic smartphone like this one? Let me know in the comments below, see you tomorrow and kiss!